Hello everybody, it's me Marina. I am the CEO of New Coyote Consulting. We are an equity and communications consulting firm here in the Pacific Northwest. Every Monday I tell you my intention for the week and every Thursday I come back and I tell you how I did. This Monday my intention was to have fun at work and just like enjoy being back at work and having a great time. <sighs> I've tried to record this like multiple times because that is not what happened at all. <laughs> I had I had literally one of the worst <laughs> weeks. <sighs> in addition to everything that's going on in the world political, but politically, which is also still affecting me and still I just am, you know, as a trans person with a uterus, with a, a uterus disease, I have endometriosis, which requires um in some places the very treatments that people are trying to make illegal um it's very disheartening um which that was already going on and um and it's just you know the sort of like background noise of fascism right like um it becomes a thing that you're sort of like begrudgingly inured to which is kind of the point of why they're so horrible all the time um that's that's the cruelty is the point you know people have been saying that for a long time <sighs> um so there's that and then on monday afternoon we had a large i don't want to call it a family drama because it was a drama that originated outside of our family <laughs> and then affected our family greatly and that's all i'm gonna say about that but it took most of my consciousness and attention Monday evening, Tuesday morning, and Tuesday afternoon. And then it was less all consuming, but it was still, it's still going on right now and it will be continuing to go on for a while. Um, which we already knew a bunch of things that we were gonna have to hustle on and, and get going and, and, and stuff. But this was just a new higher level of of things that we didn't anticipate and in fact at some points we're told not to anticipate and not to worry about um and that's super vague i know crazy vague but there's just certain things that i'm not going to talk about online and i'm not going to talk about in the context of my work life when i was younger i would just overshare everything with everyone and um that didn't work out for me didn't go well for me so I'm not doing that anymore I'm making a conscious decision to keep a lot of the aspects of my family life private I will talk a lot about my experience and my identity and everything else and then the circumstances of my family I am not sharing online not because they're particularly weird but because it's nobody's business but mine um and I think I like that. I feel like it's nice to have that separation. Um, anyway, I'm exhausted. I think I already said that, but I'm so tired. Then Tuesday afternoon, my dog got violently ill and we couldn't get in to any of the urgent care vets. We couldn't get into our vet. I stayed up with her, um, you know, nursing her and taking care of her until she was until it was like 4 30 in the morning and then I went and, and me and my husband switched off and he started taking care of her while I got some sleep and then as soon as the urgent care vet opened she he took her to them um she went to heart and soul animal on Killingsworth and they were amazing amazing they had her all day long she was still sick when we took her home in the evening, but they had given her some stuff and helped with like fluids and stuff like that. <clears throat> and thanks to the medication that they gave her on Tuesday, no, Wednesday evening, she is doing much better now. And I am super grateful, but that was like almost 48 hours. It's been almost 48, it was like a 48 hour period of her being really, really sick and us, um, you know, nursing her and cleaning up after her and being really, really worried about her. She is 15 years old, um, but she's also a rat terrier, which they typically live quite a while. 
I mean, we're kind of hoping that, that she would be, um, obviously a long-lived rat terrier. Um, she has other health problems that we're still, we have an appointment with the ultrasound person next week to see what those are. Um, we still don't really know why she was so sick, but just that she's better now and that's really, really good. That being said, I basically, I lost like a day between Monday afternoon and today, which is Friday afternoon. I don't, I don't know if it was, I think I lost Wednesday. I don't know what, what happened on Wednesday. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I, when I was able to work in sort of snatches and grabs between everything that was going on, um, because we were sort of 100% on call for the dog and then 100% on call for this other situation. Um, it was lovely and I was happy to be at work where things are much simpler and where things are going well for us. <laughs> um, I think I've talked about it before. It's easy to have this narrative of like the hits keep coming and, you know, we can't catch a break and, um, it's definitely, you know, it, I'm exhausted. I can't say anything other than that, that I'm just like truly exhausted. I will say though, that by the end of the week, like last night and today, I was feeling, I don't know, really good. Like it felt like we got challenged, you know, this week as a family and, and, and we came, we rose to the occasion and we took care of what needed to be taken care of. And our, our community showed up for us too. And we had people in our corner, both with the dog and with the other thing. And it just felt really affirming and good. And I just, this is, that's the, that's the kind of life I want to lead. I don't want to lead a life without hardship. I want to lead a life where when hardship happens, I have the, the skills and the resources to navigate it and go through it and overcome it. And for now, knock on wood, that's what it feels like. And that is really good and a huge relief. Um, obviously we're not out of the woods with our dog. Um, and also right now we, we have a brief reprieve, so. Gosh, I'm tired. I am going to go take a nap. Uh, have a weekend. I will see you on Monday. Bye.